Are you having serious issues with HLG 1, 2 or 3 footage in Final Cut Pro 10? Maybe it's looking super blown out and you're not sure what to do. Well, have no fear, I've got all the fixes for you in this video. Hey there, welcome to the channel. I'm Mark Brown from Editors Keys. And if you're new here, consider subscribing because we have a ton of videos all about Final Cut Pro 10. Now, anyway, if you're using HLG 1, 2, or 3 in Final Cut Pro 10, and you just want to pull your hair out because it's so overblown, you don't know what to do with it, then I've got all of the answers for you to improve your footage and get the settings dialed in the right way on your camera. So let's jump into it. Okay, so we have jumped into the Mac and you may have this issue here, first of all, where you import your footage and if you look at it, even in the preview window, it tends to look okay. But what happens is when you pull it onto the timeline and this is a real video we've done recently, this is a video review of the Sony ZV-1. Um, you can see here, that this shot looks nothing like the preview window. It's completely blown out. It looks horrible. It's affected the whole clip. And if you were like me, when you were a bit confused about this, you maybe tried color correcting this and whatever you did just doesn't work. And of course you don't wanna color correct this. So the first fix uh, for this, this is HLG filmed on a Sony A6400 in Rec 2020. So what you need to do is click on the clip and you can select multiple clips if you want to. So I'm just gonna click these uh, three here. And then you wanna go over to the eye over here. So you may be in uh, the effects panel, click on the eye. And then you wanna go to color space override. And you've got multiple ones for Rec 2020. You've got Rec 2020 HLG, which is what you would maybe think to choose, or Rec 709. But choose Rec 2020 if you've set your camera up as Rec 2020, and we'll talk about that in a moment. And you can see already, I've added some more effects on top here. But look at that, you can see instantly, if I just remove the uh, sort of color corrections I've made, uh, so I'll remove the effects, you can just see that it's perfectly balanced. And let's go back and turn that off. So this is what you would have had, completely blown out footage that you just cannot color correct. And then uh, we're gonna turn it on again. So let's turn it on Rec 2020, and that will fix your footage. Now, just a word of caution, it's worth importing your footage and if you're doing optimized media, uh, let it do its thing before you turn on the color space override. So that's fix number one. Now the second fix is actually in the camera itself. When I watched a few videos on the Sony a6400, it said to change the color space to Rec 709. And actually with some experiments, I've found that not to be the case. So what you need to do in the back end of your camera in your picture profiles is make sure you've got HLG one, two or three set and then set the picture, uh, pr sorry, the color space to Rec 2020. And then when you choose the color space override in Final Cut, all your problems are fixed. So there you go. I hope this short tutorial has really helped you with your HLG footage in Final Cut Pro 10. Now, if you want some LUTs that work really well in Final Cut Pro 10 for HLG footage, and we're using one of the LUTs right now, so if you think this shot looks okay, then uh, this will be in, I think, the Essentials pack of the LUTs. I'll put a link in the description below if you want to check those out. Uh, they're designed by Editors Keys, and we did them specifically for dealing with HLG 1, 2, or 3. So anyway, I hope that's helped. Uh, check out the LUTs in the description below and check out our other Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials on the channel and I'll see you in the next video.